Your Excellency, Madame la Secrétaire Générale, Honorable Chairman, wise and Shakespeare-loving members of the jury, dedicated and accurate timekeeper, demagogic Parisian politicians of the proposition, yeah. truthful fellow countrymen of the opposition, Ladies and gentlemen of the audience, good evening. Thank you for coming and relax. This is not the end. <laughs> Tonight, the government will really like you to believe that all's well that ends well. They want you to put your trust in them, saying that everything is going to be OK. Well, it is not. And let me tell you why. Because apparently, this government, for this government, the end is everything. They are the kind of politicians that would do anything to reach their goals. And as a Roman general did, they would create desolation and call it peace by killing everyone. I also would like to um, say to my fellow prime minister that I listened to Frank Sinatra way before Justin Bieber, Justin Bieber knew how to sing. And that's in Superhero, we study. What did you do in Sciences Po? Oh yeah, you talk. <laughs> appearances, ladies and gentlemen. The government is trying to blind you selling false appearances. Today, in our society, everything is about appearances, about looking good. And Shakespeare already knew it. He said, so may the outward shows be least themselves, the world is still deceived with the ornaments. But we, the opposition, are not deceiving you. We are not taking you for fools. We know that you don't believe that all's well that ends well. Yeah. I am an anti-utopist. We are anti-heroes. We are regular town digs and harries, all of us, except for my mommy, maybe. We are not courageous, we are not brave, we are not selfless. But as regular people, we know one thing. The government saying all's well that ends well is a utopia. We are fighting tonight's motion with all our hearts for happy endings, only appearances. Life is not a fairy tale, and I will show you that first, it never, ever ends well for everybody, and second, Human as such that we constantly unsatisfied even, even with a so-called happy ending. Yes, please. Haven't you heard that we were suggesting that perception is what makes an ending well? Sure. Yeah. Sure. So if you talk about perception, yes, intending well for Cinderella, but not for her sisters. Yeah. So first of all, it never ends well for everybody. Think about it. Think about your latest happy ending. Was it that you got elected to the city council yesterday? Yeah. Or maybe that you won an important debate? Or even that you finally found that missing sock? Yeah. And I have to admit, I wish I had found mine. Yeah. Well, it did not end well for your political opponents. It did not end well for the opposing debating team. And most of all, it did not end well for the stock market. <laughs> because as happy as it can be, a happy ending always leaves some people on behind. Because when after a war comes the armistice, when after a breakup comes love again, when after a weak rugby game comes a relieving try that defeats the English, yeah. well, it inevitably disappoints someone, harms someone, or disillusion someone, and it's not okay. Or except when it's to be the English. Yeah. This government should be proposing a motion with a universal dimension. How can it be universal when it does not end well for everybody? Point of information. But apparently all's well that ends well? Are you kidding me? How can it be universal since, as we said, what ends well is perception, is subjective, and as you said, that's not possible. Yeah. Indeed. Yeah. How can it be universal if the motion is not true? Yes. 
Second, as humans, we are never satisfied. Happy endings are appearances. As virtuous and as we may be, and I know most of you are really virtuous, we cannot escape our condition. And one part of it is that we are never satisfied. The moment we reach a goal, we think we are happy. We think we are satisfied. But these are all appearances. Mohammed will go deeper, showing our nature. But for now, I can tell you that. Don't live for the happy ending. As regular Tom, Dick, and Harry's will never be satisfied with the ending. Open your eyes. You have a job. You want a promotion. You win a debate. You want to win the next one. You get married. Should I really say the end of the sentence? <laughs> Can you see it now? Can you see we're never satisfied with the outcome? Trust us, not always that ends well. But the government knows that. Who makes the fairest show means most deceit, as Shakespeare wrote. They know you like happy endings, they know everything is about appearances, and they want to fool you. But we're not on stage, there's no deus ex machina. Don't get me wrong, I am not saying that we cannot be happy. Life has its lot of happiness. But we're saying that all's well that ends well, my eye. And now, members of the jury, would you elect a government that sells beautiful and untrue appearances? Or an opposition that says the truth? You choose. <laughs>